Hello my perfume lovers, addicts, fanáticas de perfume como yo. Welcome back to another video. You know, I always miss filming. Here I am. So I hope everyone's doing good. Now, this video, I wasn't really sure how to call it because I have something that I wanted to talk about. A very hyped fragrance that I finally got a test, um, you know, a little um, sample of. And also some fragrances that I bought. So I set some goals for myself in 2024. And I don't know if I had mentioned this in my video when I talked about those goals that I wanted to, of course, spend, um, buy a lot less fragrances in 2023. I bought 111 fragrances, which is a lot. Um, and I just want to appreciate what I have. And yes, buy because I'm not going to pretend like I'm not going to buy fragrance. Hello, I'm addicted to fragrance. But I wanted to get more control and be a lot more picky and really think a lot about my purchases and what makes sense what i have that is similar you know you know that type of thing so which i'm not saying that i'm not gonna buy something that's similar to what i have because if i love something i will buy things that are similar but you know with something a little touch of something else or they could be dupes you know things like that so i'm not gonna say that i'm not gonna repeat and buy things that i love because i will because i love them you know that's that's the whole point for us to buy things that we love and we like so First of all, we're going to talk about a fragrance that has been super, super hyped. You've seen it everywhere if you're watching Fragrance YouTube. And it is Bianco Latte by, let me see the name, Giardini di Toscana. I love the name. It's a beautiful name. It, Italians, the, the whole, you know, the words, it's just beautiful. So Bianco Latte, okay? So I got my little tester from lucky scent my little tube this is what i do when i want to try fragrance and i just put it on my hand so i can you know smell it and get the whole experience to see if it's worth all the hype now so first of all i love vanilla fragrances i'm i love gourmands i'm a vanilla lover it's one of my favorite notes i'm a vanilla that's you know that's me but 150 dollars for a vanilla fragrance it has to be something like you know, first, it has to be niche and it has to be like blowing me out of this world, you know, and, you know, and we got to depends on the price, too. So, um, so Bianco Latte is $150 for a caramel and vanilla fragrance. I was like, mm, I don't know. I need to try it. So I ignored the hype. I ignored. I finally gave in and I bought the sample. So I have it here. So it is beautiful. It is beautiful. It is really nice. In my opinion, is it worth $150? No, now, now everyone's throwing all their tomatoes and everything at me. Um, I'm sorry for all the Bianco Latte fans that think that 150 is a perfect. For, I mean, you know, if we were all rich, who cares, right? But you know, it's I I think it's overpriced for me in my opinion, for it to be something so simple. Oh no, it's not so simple. Okay, it has the caramel, it has some some spice, a little bit of spices in it, and this and that. But for me it's not a it's not complex it's not a complex fragrance it is a beautiful vanilla caramel fragrance but yeah so i had already had the dupe from dapper okay i already had the dapper dupe because i wanted to get to see the hype and yes i went through it i like it it's cozy it's nice it's it's a yummy fragrance this is gourmand we're in spring so this you know you can still wear it but you know, you're like, mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling more of the floral type of things. But, you know, you can still wear this to bed and things like that. It doesn't matter. But, yeah, I don't. So, I was thinking about buying the Taskin. Um, I think it's Caramel Cascade. But I don't, I don't find that I need it. Will I change my mind? I don't know. But for now, I think that I think it is a little bit overhyped. I think it is. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead, throw the tomatoes again. Okay, so that's that. I just wanted, I was, I just wanted to know. I was so curious about the Bianco Latte. Okay, now the next one that I bought is from Federico Majora. So this is from Poland. Uh, you have to go to the website, and um, I actually bought this in Mercari. I bought this from Mercari because I was looking for a Soleil Blanc dupe. That's one of the um the things that was on my wish list. Is Soleil Blanc because I have tried it, I had testers of it, and um, I really it's such a beautiful, luxurious. It is a summer vibe, it's a luxurious vibe. It's not the time, but 
you know, I was looking for it. I just, it was on my list. So here it is. This is really nice. And yes, it is a really good dupe. I had bought before the Just Jack one. That, I didn't feel like it was a good dupe. It was close, but not enough. This one is closer, but I'm not gonna lie. Soleil Blanc is just a very special fragrance. The way they made it with the creaminess, the pistachio with the tuberose, everything in there, the way that it's just beautiful. But we need it to last longer. Well, I need it to last longer, so this. This is 98%, so yes. Oh, this is um 913, because everything they do is with numbers. Um, So they dupe a lot of fragrances. That's that, that's that. And so my next one I have here, just putting that away, is <clears throat> Whispers in the Library. I'm sorry, did you hear? Whispers in the Library. Whispers in the Library. <laughs> this is Replica Whispers in the Library. So a beautiful person had sent me a little travel of this, and I really liked it. I really liked it, and I hadn't even really heard of it before because fireplace uh, by the fireplace is the one that most people talk about the um, the coffee one the the lavender one with coffee i forget the name coffee addict i think it is and uh this the the one the beach walk and all of those but this one it's not and it's discontinued it's discontinued but look at that so is this a spring fragrance no but i could wear it because this is the name whispers in the library matches the longevity of this so it's kind of like a whisper like it, it's on you but it's very light but it's a beautiful woody vanilla so i don't really get where the whole whispers in the library name comes from when i smell it but then i was thinking you know library books books are made of paper paper is made of wood there's wood in this i don't know it's kind of like a cozy vibe so that's that so i got that that is that so basically you got to bathe yourself in that and it is just a cozy type of thing you know it's not going to project it's more of like a bedtime or just cozy in the house that type of thing but yeah yeah that's that now this one i've been having this one on my wish list for years and i finally found the best price i can get because on joma shop which is the cheapest these days it was 198 but I was like, no, I'm not going to pay 198 I don't care. I know that it's worth almost 500 I think. I think it goes for like 500 on, you know, like Nordstrom and all those um, places like that. But look who's here. Look who's here. This is Halle Bop by Tiziana Terenzi. You got to appreciate the whole packaging because if we paint, and what I pay for this is the same that I would pay for a Coco Chanel Mademoiselle. So it's the big bottle. And this is special. This is a special fragrance. It's not just any, look at that, look how pretty. And then, ta -da. And then ta -da. look at that luxury packaging, okay? Who doesn't love a little bit of luxury packaging once in a while, okay? And then look at this baby here. Look at this baby here. I'm not going over my dapper. Look at her, look how beautiful she is. Isn't that beautiful? Now this is, let me tell you longevity is beautiful this is like 12 hours of course over spray do it right isn't that but this is beautiful oh this is beautiful if you want something similar that is more affordable amber blue amber blue amber by montau is similar but this is better this has nutmeg and it has like this balsamic it has vanilla it has all these spices it's just beautiful 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 oh it's so good good i love it i love it so i'm so happy i finally got her i finally got her and yeah so those are the newest fragrances to my collection um i'm trying to keep my goal it's been really really hard and we are only in march today's march 20th so i bought some more fragrances but um i'm gonna talk about them in my next video because I got some Middle Easterns, but I got some really good ones. I got some really good ones, but I didn't want to talk about them because right now Middle Eastern is like everywhere. Everyone's talking about Middle Eastern. Even people that are only niche, everyone's talking about, you know, so I don't want to be so repetitive, but I got to tell you guys because I don't know. I mean, maybe, do, do you want to know? Do you want to know what I got? So let me know. 
Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Take care. Until next time, bye.